I need to talk about the Iron Claw. <sighs> I remember growing up watching the Von Erics battle the Freebirds, battle Ric Flair, Dusty Rhodes. Listen, if you are a man's man, if you are a bro, this movie will damn near bring you to tears. If it's one line in, that sums up this entire movie, when Kevin is sitting in the, in the yard watching his sons play and he's weeping. And his sons are playing football. And they're like, Dad. Dad, what's wrong? Why are you crying? And Kevin says, I'm sorry, boys. It's, it's just a... Uh, well, it's okay to cry, Dad. I cry all the time. No, no boys. Y'all you, you shouldn't see your daddy like this. Well, Dad, tell us what, what's wrong, Dad. What, what, why are you so sad? Well, you know, boys, uh, I used to be a brother. And now I'm, I'm, I'm not a brother anymore. Nigga, if, <laughs> if my left eye did start jumping and I'm like, and I felt a, I felt a tear. I felt a tear trying to come. And then I had to sit there and think about, I got brothers. I don't even fuck with them like that. That entire, that one line. Wow. Wow. So I used to be a brother. And they're like, it's okay, Dad. We'll, we'll be your brothers. And he was like, thank you, boys. Thank you, boys. And then they get up and they start playing. The wife comes out and she's playing with them and the dog. And the song comes on. I want to live forever. I was like, oh, my fucking God. Oh, my God, bro. Don't hold it together, bro. Bros, don't cry, bro. Bros, don't cry, bro. This was, a, this was a beautiful movie. Oh, my God. Listen. Ah, I mean, of course, they skimmed over a lot of stuff. Um, the one they, they, out of, I believe it was six of them, five brothers died. They didn't cover little Chris. They didn't cover little Chris. Like I said, I grew up watching these guys. I remember World Championship Wrestling. I remember the bumper card. I remember watching this at two in the morning on ESPN as a kid. And um, the second heaviest moment of, of this movie after, after Carrie shot himself in the chest, you know, he, he leaves a note. He, he took the gun that he gave his father. He leaves a note saying, I, I don't know where I'm going tonight, but I'm going to, I'm going to go walk with my brothers. And then shows him and he gets on the boat and he, you know, he's going towards the dock. And then you see the other dead brothers, Michael and David. Michael has the guitar. David has the championship belt. He was supposed to beat Flair for in Japan. And he pulls up to the dock. He's like, brothers, brothers, brothers. And they all embrace. And then Carrie says, well, isn't, where's Jack Jr.? And then they part, and then here's his little boy, Jack Jr. He's oh, you're my, you're my, you're my big brother. He's a little kid. And he gives him a hug, nigga. I was, I was two through. I was two through. Jack was the first one that died. Jack touched a toe hitch. He got electrocuted from a toe hitch, fell in the snow, and drowned. That was the first Von Eric. And then 
subsequent, David, Michael, and then Chris, the little, the little short one. He was a sickly one, right? He's, uh, he had to take steroids because he had asthma, but it made his bones brittle. He was like five. He was literally my height. Another, the other brothers were like six, two, six, six, four. Oh, and then how the parent Fritz and Dottie. Oh, and so then, so my wife, she made an excellent point. She was like, cause the whole thing, Kevin was worried about the curse of the Von Erics, the curse, the name, the name, the name. Curses are not attached to the name. Curses are in the blood. My wife said that she said curses aren't in the name. It's in the blood. I was like, damn, yeah, you're right. So this, you know, Kevin at, at one point was sleeping in the gym. He was afraid to come home. He was afraid that his son would, would catch the curse. And he changed the name back from Von Eric to Atkinson. That was their real name. Wow. Wow. This movie should be, should have made way more money than it's making now. Zac Efron, I mean, they all were great, but Zac, put some respect on Zac Efron's acting abilities moving forward. Oh, yeah. Okay, that was a heavy movie. I'm sorry. All right, okay, that's, that's my review for the Iron Claw. Now, let's, 